Once again, happy St. Patrick's Day. And as promised, joining us now in the living room is, I think he's an Irishman, at least by by virtue of his name, Brandon. That sounds Every, Irish Everyone's to Irish me. today. Oh, and everybody's Irish yeah. today. That's right. Board <laughs> member of Regina Chaley Academy. Brandon, great to be with you. Thank you so much for having me here, Bishop. Thank you. And I want to acknowledge the silent presence of Canon Matthew Tellerico. He is in the, in the house. He's in the room, uh, but he's giving a, a, a retreat. We're going to talk about that sure. uh, over the next couple of days. But uh, Regina Chaley Academy, um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, is a classical homeschooling hybrid, very important word, hybrid model, which is focused on Catholic education and really on the Catholic family. And, and I got to ask you, Brendan, how does this particular academy, how does it differ from homeschooling uh, in, in other ways? Veins, sure, venues. sure. Yeah. yeah. So Regina Chaley, um, you know, we're we're in uh, 19 different cities across the country. Oh, we I have, didn't realize that. We have 20 centers nationwide, and I think one way it, it differs, um, you know, it, is that it, it, it essentially what Regina Chaley does is it, it transforms families um, and it, it furthers Catholic tradition. Okay, and and I think part of a big part of that is in the, in the homeschool model, where we provide the structure, um, we provide guidance. Um, we provide the curriculum to really inspire families to homeschool their children um, who otherwise maybe wouldn't do it on their own. Because for, for parents, it's hard, right? I mean, we want the best for our children. Um, you know, we want the best education. Um, but a lot of times it's, it's uncomfortable figuring out, you know, am I qualified? Can I do this? And so what Regina okay. Chile does is it provides that structure to really inspire families to, um, to take the leap into homeschooling. Now, you're a dad. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have kids. You have a great family. Yeah. Uh, four kids. Four yes, kids. Yep. So I'm I'm just assuming that mm -hmm. that your kids are uh, enrolled in this type of homeschooling. They are. Yeah. So here in in Massachusetts, there's two centers. There's one down in Dedham, Massachusetts, and one up in Haverhill on the north on the North Shore. Um, and so my my children go up there. I live in Southern New Hampshire, and yeah, we have families as far south um, in this area as far south as the South Shore, of Massachusetts, as far north as Ware, New Hampshire. Yeah. You know, so what Regina Chile does, in, in my opinion, that's, you know, um, remarkable is it, it really attracts, you know, like minded families who want to, um, you know, live out their their full Catholic faith. Right. And, you know, it, it's there's a great quote by, by Bishop Fulton Sheen. Um, you know, you picture a circle. And at the center of that circle, there's a light. And you're smiling because you probably know this quote, right? And so, and then the, all the fragments of light go out from the center of the circle, right? And so the, the center of that circle, of course, is Christ. And the fragments of light are all us, you know? And the closer you are to that, that center, of course, the closer you are to each other and the closer you are mm -hmm. to God, the stronger those beams are instead of the ones that are out at the, the edge of the circumference, right? And I think that, that Regina Chaley, the relationships we built with the, with the families there, you know, the community that we're a part of, um, it, it really empowers us because we're closer to Christ. You know, we're, we're rooted in Christ as our center to, to really fully live authentic Catholic lives. So little things like, you know, our, our kids will go on a, on a field trip to the Mu Museum of Science, but they'll stop at noon and pray the Angelus, right? Um, you know, moms will have a nice. rosary night in a, in, a, in a coffee shop, but they'll pray the rosary in public. Or we'll go out to dinner at a, at a place and we're not afraid to, to chant the Benedict Domine, you know, in, a, <laughs> you know, in public, right? So things like that where, you know, we're, you know, we're living boldly for Christ. Yeah. And, I, and I mentioned in the introduction uh, that the word hybrid is important mm. because that is a distinguishing factor, isn't it? It is, it is, because so there's, they, the, the, it's a five day a week program, right? The curriculum's done for the entire school year, uh, but it's, it's, it's implemented with two days a week at a center um, where the, the children come for Socratic discussion, they come for testing, they come for in-class instruction, instruction as well, um, but then the other three days it's at home. So it's a, it's a great balance between structure and freedom of homeschooling, right? And, and also honoring the parents as the primary educator, you know, because um, most of our tutors are mothers or, you know, or, or fathers of of other students, because in the Socratic method, which I'm, I'm sure you're aware of, uh, but for those of you who aren't, um, you know, the tutor, the role of the tutor, it's really beautiful. It's actually the student exemplar. So, you know, oftentimes, like my, my wife, for example, she's tutoring 10th grade um, history right now. So she's reading like the Gloria Christendom and, you know, Lay Siege to Heaven about for her. Catherine, you know, stuff she didn't get to read when she was in high school. And she's like, wow, this is Everybody amazing. Everybody wins <laughs> yes, yes. in the hybrid model. Exactly. You know, so then, it, you know, and then you're, you're learning these things at home. I mean, I'm doing the Baltimore Catechism with my son at home. Get you know? out of here. <laughs> you know? so, so it really forms me as well. 
I love all the pictures in the Baltimore Catechism. Love it. Yeah, yes. it brings back great memories. <laughs> so now you have this great retreat beginning mm -hmm. with uh, Canon Tallarico mm -hmm. of the Institute of Christ the King, sovereign mm -hmm. priest. You're very blessed, I know, to have him mm -hmm. uh, with you. That begins at 2 o'clock this afternoon. I hear that some of the people have an RSVP here. <laughs> so maybe we should get after them right now. Sure, sure, yeah. If you want to join us, you know, we're going to be up at the Holy Rosary Shrine in Lawrence, Massachusetts um, this afternoon. 2 p.m. is when it starts. You know, we have a, a 4 p.m. Mass. Um, and then we have some, some we, we got the dispensation from, from the, the good cardinal, so we can have a little bit of a potluck dinner this evening as well. So, that's great. Um, yeah, really looking forward to that. And, then, and that's part of the community that we do. You know, we try to, you know, um, we're not secluding ourselves, you know, as homeschoolers, right? Um, but where, where, Gina, where Gina Chile can really become for many people is a place of refuge where you can get stronger, you can grow closer to Christ, and then that way, when you go out into the community, you can share that light with others, because mm -hmm. that's ultimately our mission, right? We want to we want to raise saints and, and bring pe people to heaven. Yeah. In the family. In the family. Very important. Yes. Uh, we're running out of time, but I just want to ask you, for those who might be considering mm -hmm. a homeschooling, particularly a, a program uh, so beautiful as mm -hmm. Regina Chaley, um, what is the one distinguishing or uh, most important draw for parents to... Yeah, so I think um, the most important draw, you know, it's, it's really important, obviously, to have good role models, you know, and, and people who you can model yourself after, not only your children, you know, to have, have safe, you know, role models for them, you know, but also for each other, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it's tough in the, in the world that we live in. We all, you know, leave in the morning and go off to work and we're in our different places, you know, business and whatnot, um, but to be reminded, con you know, consistently of, um, you know, we're ordered towards Christ to get to heaven. Um, and, and I think that that's one thing for sure that Regina Chiali can do. It's, it's a community you can plug into um, to model your, yourself after to become better Catholics. Very exciting. I hope the retreat goes exceedingly well. Thank you so much. Uh, over the next uh, few days. And uh, if people are thinking about enrolling their children in Regina Chaley Academy, how do they do it? Yeah, if people want to learn more, um, of course, you could schedule a time to come tour one of our centers. We have one in Dedham locally. Um, but like I said, they're across the whole country. So if you're, if you're outside, um, outside of Massachusetts, there's opportunities as well. Um, you can obviously go to the website, Regina Chaley, um, rcahybrid.org. Um, is where you can go to, to learn more about Regina Chaley. Um, and then I'd be remiss to, to say this too. I mean, of course, we are, we are a nonprofit organization. We're growing. We want to make this accessible for more families across the country. So, I mean, if you're someone out there right now um, who maybe your children didn't have this opportunity and, and you want to support RCA, you know, we're, we're always looking for support, whether it's, you know, there's lots of ways. Financially, you can make donations. If you want to become a tutor, uh, we're always looking for, for good tutors as well, too, at all of our campuses. Uh, but yeah, if you go to rcahybrid.org, you can RCA get all the information. RCABhybrid.org. RCAhybrid.org. RCAhybrid.org. I think RCAB, that's the Archdiocese. <laughs> RCAhybrid.org. Get it straight, Reed. Well, Brandon, great to be with you. Thank you so much. Happy St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day to you, and I hope the retreat is outstanding. Thank you. God bless yeah. you.